Ah, le classe. Merci. Hey, merci. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I had to, uh, to say no this time. Too much trouble in the last time. <laughs> so, I mean, there's obviously a little bit of history with you and Gilbert, considering everything that happened with the, the past fight that got canceled. Is there any hard feelings still between you guys, or you feel like that's been settled? Well, the hard feeling was about uh, me paying uh, everything to get there and yeah. then having no fight. So, other than that, and like, I mean, to be fair to him, he never missed weight before uh, inside the UFC. Uh, in jiu-jitsu, he missed weight a lot of time, though. <laughs> but <laughs> in UFC, he never did. So, to be fair, whoa, what happened there? <laughs> Um, you never miss weight, so for sure I was a little bit scared coming in uh, this week, but I think uh, I think he's gonna make it. Does it feel like unfinished? And accepting this fight again after you know what happened last time. Was that? Would you have rather fought someone else? Just yeah, of course. But y you know what? I was not in the position to uh, to ask for uh, someone else, and I like uh, I like the the defi. How come it's defi? I like the opportunity of uh, this fight, so um, I like the fight. I like the matchup. I just didn't like the the weight cut part. Is there That's weird to, to say. <laughs> Does it feel like unfinished business to a certain degree? Yeah, of course. Well, yeah. Uh, no. I mean, I did. I saw him really briefly, and he looked. He looked happy, uh, I guess. So, yeah. Gilbert had mentioned pre-fight that he took notes the first time you guys fought just in training him. He said that was a benefit. Does the same thing work for you, the fact that you were preparing for him before and you know, maybe you had an idea of how to match up against him, like making it a little bit easier to train for him? No. Oh. It was the same. I mean, shit. Uh, <laughs> every camp is different, that's for sure. But. His, his style is so basic that it's not hard to find uh, someone that fights like him. So, uh, like, even if I was fighting someone else, I would have trained with people uh, that look like him. So. Ali, what's the first few seconds of a fight feel like for you? Those first few seconds when they take off. <laughs> so, <laughs> such a weird question. I don't know, <laughs> man. Like, uh, it feel like... Uh, uh, feel good? Feel it's the scary. beginning of uh, vacation? Yeah, of course, Gary. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> that, uh, but the idea that it's the beginning of vacation, I've heard other fighters say that, that you walk in there and kind of now we get to party. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that accurate? Can you feel that? Yeah, yeah, I do feel that, yeah. This lightweight division is, is so tough. I mean, you worked so hard to get that streak going. Uh, I would imagine it was frustrating to have it end. Is it almost feel like you kind of have to restart now, like you have to start over? and start I don't think you better. restart, but for sure you, I, uh, I took a step back. Um, that's part of the game. I mean, it's we don't it's not boxing, you know. We don't uh, we don't have the the best record. We don't fight people that are not at our level. It's it's the best against the best, and that's that's what UFC is. That's what MMA is, what did you learn and that's okay. What did you learn from that loss uh, to Hernandez? Nothing, I guess. <laughs> I mean, the guy was better than me. That's for sure. I, I need to get better. I need to get better to, uh, to get there. Is what there more pressure heading into this fight, just coming off a loss? You've never lost two in a row in your career. No, there's no more. Uh, I feel good. I really feel great in my head right and, now. And you like fighting in Canada, right? Because your last fight in Canada, this fight in Canada. You had a good performance here last year. Yeah. yeah, of course. I prefer uh, to fight in Canada. It's, uh, I don't have to take the plane to come here. After, the, the <laughs> after that last fight, You've gotten better. It's true. <laughs> what, specifically, what have you gotten better at since that last fight? When you look at yourself, what areas have you improved? Um, I'm going to do the, my GSP here. I think I'm better everywhere. Uh, but truly, I really think I'm, uh, I'm better everywhere. I'm better in my head. I'm better uh, inside the, the cage, uh, well, technically and uh, physically, too. Did it work different? Did you, did, were you yeah. Yeah. yeah, it worked so. a little bit different. I, I felt uh, maybe I overtrained a little bit la last camp. Um, a lot of time, uh, Ferras in my last camp told me to go home and freaking take a break. And 
it happened maybe two or three times uh, the last month of my, the camp and this time didn't happen it felt great until uh, until now this be in front be in, fr in front of you <laughs> 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 idea that a racehorse will kill itself if you let it? The what? That a racehorse? The racehorse? A, a horse that races? Oh, racehorse. A racehorse. I thought it was a dinosaur or yeah. something. <laughs> a racehorse, if you don't make it stop, it will run until it dies. Have you heard that? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like any fighter. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. True. Yeah. You push yourself until you push too far, unless you listen to your coach to pull you back. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I, I, I did a little bit too much, especially with the schedule. It's not necessarily that I was doing, I was training nonstop. It's just my schedule was, maybe, uh, not smart as it, it is uh, right now. So I was doing high intensity twice a day, and I don't think that's a good idea if uh, I don't take steroids. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so we changed that. <laughs> oh, you take steroids now? No, uh, yeah. Whoa. Ollie, <laughs> Olivier, this, uh, this, this, Canadian, this Canadian gangster thing has really seemed to take off. Uh, did you expect it to go as well as it has? Uh, no, I didn't. It was a surprise, and um, I'm happy with it, actually. How yeah. are the shirt sales going? I saw you got the shirt made up. Yeah, guys, buy my shirt on Push Your Fist. It's, uh, it's a great shirt. You're going to go look nice. And... Um, what about the fanny packs? Is that on sale too? No, they don't sell the fanny pack. Oh. Do you feel like it's a, it's a really, I think that's the last one. Uh, the last one is a collector edition. You mentioned do, do you feel like Pierre, um, you know, Oh, CC's damn, you guys, no, no, you no, gotta no, no, fight. No, no, that's for sure. I love this shit. George, uh, George St. Pierre, you mentioned him there. Is he, is he in the gym training with you guys? Like, how often do you get to work with him? Um, every Monday. Oh, really? Okay. He's so still in there a lot. Yeah. Do you expect him to come back at some point? Uh, no, I, if I was in, I, I would not. But you would uh, ride off into the sunset. Yeah, time. of course I would like <laughs> disappear. I don't Why know is that? Where. I don't know. I like the. I find it poetic that you, you're a fighter, you become known from er like everybody, and then you just leave, just disappear, living your life in the wood. I don't know, <laughs> something crazy like that, and then. At some point, people are going to knock at your door and they're going to tell you, hey, we need you. <laughs> we need you for Khabib. And they say, ah, oh, but I retired. Okay, I'm going to go. And then, you know, like all those freaking movies. Do you think Khabib is the one fight that would get him back? I think so. Yeah. Uh, last question about the Canadian gangster thing. I mean, it seems like the mustache, too, has kind of developed its own cult following. I see you putting shaving videos out there with axes and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why, why do you think, again, people have really latched onto this? Why do I think the, the, the like that people like it so much? <laughs> well, <laughs> look at this thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like that? How That's fair. That's fair. How much, was the help, uh, how, how much uh, help was Mandel Malibu's camp? Again, one of your secret weapons of tricep. How much help? Yeah, yeah. Like well, the only help, help he gave me is he didn't fight me and kick my ass. That's the only help he gave me. <laughs> um, no, tell you the truth, he, he don't have the style. Um, he's not like Gilbert, you know, he's a uh, long... Uh, if I was fighting, uh, I don't know, uh, Anderson Silva for sure, uh, I would go with him. But uh, I don't think Gilbert have that kind of uh, tool in his uh, arsenal. Arsenal? Alex Garcia. <laughs> Alex Garcia on the feet is more like Gilbert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. yes. But uh, yeah. So you fought in Strong. Alberta, not Ontario. Good. When are you coming back to Montreal? Oh, damn, that's this guy. <laughs> we'll get back to you. We want to see <laughs> the center. Yeah, we, I want that too. Quebec or Quebec City or Montreal would be really great. A uh, long time we uh, didn't uh, been there, but uh, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to no it. Blame. Hey, you're the guy that uh, dressed up as me, no? Yeah. My man. And the yeah, yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Better than this guy. <laughs> you try to see your t-shirts literally say, hey, buy my shirt, they nice. <laughs> that was your t-shirt set. Yes. Well, it's true. I'm all about telling the truth. <laughs> Thanks, Luke. Hey, thank you. Thank you, guys. That's a good joke. I thought you guys were brothers.